Hello everyone, Michael here, and welcome to this tutorial of how to run offline flash files in Ubuntu. Now, it's actually kind of hard to explain what flash files are, but pretty much the gist of it is that they're just a media file that requires a browser or Adobe Flash player to run it. Now, this is stuff that, you know, like such like Newgrounds for animation and games. Now, of course, there are people out there who actually download these files, and when they try to play it in Ubuntu 14.04 and higher, it doesn't run. Instead, it asks if you want to download it. Now, there is a workaround for this, and it's changing a file from the free desktop.org.xml file in the meme folder. And no, not an internet meme, I, it's literally meme. It'll take too long to explain all this, so I'll put everything you need to know in the description below, along with the form that has the answer for this. Now before we get into this, I do want to stress that this can actually break your desktop if you're not careful, so please listen to the tutorial carefully. If something happens, there is a troubleshoot guide at the end of the tutorial that will show you how to fix things in case something like this happens. So with that in mind, Enjoy the tutorial, guys. Before we begin, I do want to point out that I am using Ubuntu Mate 14.10. However, this should not be any different than using Ubuntu in general. So let's get started with this tutorial. First, Let's make sure that we really can't play an offline flash file. Go ahead and drag your your local flash file and put it into the browser. For mine, it's the red button game. Now for me, Firefox is telling me it wants to download it instead of playing it, regardless of the fact it's already downloaded. And just to double check that you really can't play it, open up your second browser if you have one. And if it does the same thing, continue on with this tutorial. Now open up any folder to open up the file browser. Click on help and about in your file browser and keep in mind of your file browser's name. Control copy if you want to. You're gonna need this in a couple of seconds. Now let's open up a terminal. Do the shortcut, Control alt t or search terminal and open it up in a regular Ubuntu. Do sudo and put in your file browser's name. Put in your password and Ubuntu should open up your file browser under super user. Go to File System, click on User or USR, go to Share, Meme, Packages, and before we do anything to the free desktop.org.xml file, we gotta make a copy. So right click, copy, and then paste. Now right click on the freshly copied file and rename it. Put in a .old at the end of the file name. Also get rid of copy. I'll explain the re- this is just in case if something goes wrong and all we have to do is just simply get rid of the .old. Now back to the actual file itself. Right click and open it up with your favorite text editor. Mine will be Pluma. Once a document opens up, do Control F to first search. Search for VND dot Adobe dot Flash 
dot movie. It should take you to meme dash type type equals application slash vnd dot adobe dot flash dot movie. It's also under line number 18,432. Go ahead and get rid of the VND Adobe Flash Movie and replace it with X dash shockwave shockwave dash flash. Go ahead and save the file. Once it's done, exit out of the text editor and the file browser. Go ahead and put in sudo update dash meme dash database. Do dash usr dash share dash meme and hit enter. If you're seeing an unknown media type, you should be just fine. However, if your computer is acting up, refer to the troubleshooting at the end of this video. This update would take a few seconds up to a minute, so please wait. Exit out of the terminal. Open up your browser. Drag the flash file and it should run. If you're see seeing a red button or the flash file, then you've done it. However, if you're still not seeing it, you most likely have to reinstall flash. To do this, open up Ubuntu Software Center, search for flash, click more info so you're there and click remove. Once it's done removing, reinstall it again and it should work. Welcome to the troubleshoot guide. This is just in case something goes wrong while, while or after the tutorial. Now all we're going to do is just replace the original file back back to where it was. If you're able to access the desktop, go ahead and open up a terminal by opening up the application or doing the hotkey of control alt T. If you're not able to access your desktop because it broke, don't panic. Do control alt F1. This will take you to a terminal session. However, this will be no video or audio, only text, so be sure to have a device nearby. Log in manually with a username and password. Now do this, sudo i, this will put your terminal into root. Now we gotta make our way back to the free desktop file with cd space forward slash usr forward slash s h a r e or share forward slash m i m e forward slash packages. Type in ls to make sure and hit enter to make sure you're in the right folder. If you're seeing the free desktop.org, you're in the right folder. Now we gotta remove free desktop. What we have to do is do rm free desktop.org.xml. Alternatively, you can go ahead and do rm space fre and press ab for the autofill and hit enter. Type in ls and enter to make sure that the file is, is completely gone. Now we have to copy the free desktop with the dot old at the end as the original file. To do this, do cp space free desktop.org.xml.old or whatever you called it. Make sure that there's a space after the D. 
If you did tab for the autofill, you don't have to do this. Do the same thing again, but at the end, end of the file name, go ahead and delete the dot old and hit enter. Type in ls, and if you see the free desktop.org.xml, you did everything correctly. All there is left to do is to update the meme database by doing update dash meme dash database space forward slash usr forward slash share forward slash mime and hit enter. The database will then update. What you should do from here is just restart the computer. Afterwards, the computer should start working just fine again. However, if you're not if the computer is still not working correctly, please go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll try to help. Or go ahead and do michael092 help at gmail.com for any help.